Hey everybody, Mrs. Bodishan here. We're going to talk about AKS 9D. It says, I can analyze and interpret data to explain how different media affect the speed of sound and light waves. We're going to do this by looking at some simulations first. So this, you guys, is um, the speed of light that we're looking at first. It's a little simulation. And what you can see here is there a wave going through this little block. And this block is representing one type of medium. Now it's going through a different type of medium and coming out that same medium on the other side. So you can see the speed of how it changes when it enters that new medium and then returns to where it was when it started um, in the first medium. So right now, we're looking at light going through air. And air, you know, is a gas, and it um, has very low density. So the light is barely being slowed down right now by that air, which is a gas. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to increase the density of that material. And we're going to look. Here's water. Water, as you know, is a liquid. So now it's not going through gas anymore, it's going through liquid. So our particles are closer together, our density has increased, and you can see that light now has to work its way in between those particles, and it just makes it a little bit more time consuming for light to get through them completely. So it does slow it down. If I increase this further and I go to diamond a diamond as you know is a solid and um, diamond is a very dense solid at that so if you see all of my light is slowing down significantly in a diamond because my particles are so densely packed together it does take extra time for the light to maneuver through it and to get all the way past those particles to shine out the other side okay so light travels the very fastest through a vacuum, believe it or not. A vacuum being somewhere where there's no particles to get in its way at all, like outer space. So the very fastest light's ever gonna travel is through outer space or inside a vacuum where there's no particles. Um, the next fastest would be gas, then liquid, then of course solid, and solid would be the slowest. Now, the more dense you get in a solid, the slower it's going to go. So this really has to do with the density of the particles, all right? Let's go ahead and look at sound. Okay, so I wanted to show you guys this um, little simulation that I found on um, sound transmission through different mediums. So we're gonna play it and we're gonna look and here you can see sound going through a solid. And you can see that it's going pretty rapidly because the particles are really close together. So they're vibrating each other very quickly and the sound is able to travel very, very fast. In a liquid, however, my particles are farther away from each other. So when the sound travels, it does take longer for it to hit the next particle and move on to the next to go um, all the way through. Um, now gas, on the other hand, you can see that my particles are still even further apart and it does take even longer for those particles to hit each other, vibrate and move forward. So a gas is definitely going to move the very fastest through a solid um, and then a liquid and the slowest through a gas. But sound cannot travel through um, a vacuum at all. OK, so there is no sound in outer space because sound requires particles to vibrate and move and, and hit more particles. Right. In order for there to be an actual sound wave to begin with. So there are no particles like that in outer space because of that. There's no sound in outer space. So um, unless you bring your own air with you in your um, astronaut suit, you will not be hearing anything because there's no air. There's no particles and outer space to create a sound vibration. Okay, guys, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna look at the next thing on our sheet. And it is um, this table here about the speed of sound. It says, study the data table on your sheet and then answer these questions. So we're gonna go ahead and answer them together. Okay, so number one says, in what medium does sound travel the fastest? 
So if I'm looking at my data table, here's the speed. So the fastest speed is this bottom one right here, steel. Okay, um, and what state of matter is this? Steel is a solid, right? It's a metal, it's solid. Um, and we know um, that about sound already that it does travel the fastest in a solid, so that does add up, right? Number two, does sound travel slower in cold temperatures? Well, in order to get this information from our data table, we have to look for two substances that are the same, but at different temperatures. The only one that does that is air. Okay, air is going through the same medium, right? Um, one is at zero degrees and one is at 20 degrees. So if we look at the speed of those two, we can see that zero degrees is slower moving than 20 degrees. So the colder it is, the slower it moves. So the answer is yes, colder temperatures do make it travel slower, okay? Why do you think temperature affects the speed of sound? Uh, it's because of the particle motion, right? The kinetic energy. So the colder the particle, um, the, the um, less kinetic energy it has and the slower it will end up moving altogether. Explain why sound travels at different speeds in steel and lead if they are both metals. So if we're looking over here, here's lead at 1,960. Sorry for the bell. And then here's still at 5,960. So quite a difference, even though they're both solids, they're both metals. So really what's the difference? Why is speed traveling faster in steel? It's because of the density of the material. Steel is so much more dense than lead. Still has its particles packed so much tighter and closer together that it can send that vibration of the sound wave through it so much more rapidly than lead can. Let's look at our next data table on our sheet. Um, so let me move this over here. Um, this is the speed of light in different mediums. So what you're seeing um, are a series of questions just like the last one, and let's answer them together. It says, in which medium does light travel the fastest? If you were to look, we have our speed, um, our light, um, speed of light right here. And then we have our mediums and the incident, um, the index of refraction over here as well. But really all we need to focus on mainly are gonna be these two, okay? So in which medium does light travel the very fastest? Well, we're just looking at the highest number and the highest number is air, okay? So the medium is air. And what state of matter of that is, it's a gas, air is a gas. Um, how does density affect the speed of light? Well, the denser particles slow down the light, right? So the more density we have, or the denser the medium, the slower the light is going to actually travel through it. Um, why does a ruby and a diamond refract light at different angles um, if they're both solids? So you can look on here and you can see here's a diamond and here's a ruby, and they are indeed at different speeds, diamond, um, is going much slower than a ruby, even though they are both solids. Um, and that's just because they have different densities. Okay, a diamond is much more dense than a ruby, so its particles are packed so much tighter than a ruby's are, so light takes longer to navigate through those particles to get all the way through them. Okay, and this pretty much wraps up 90. You guys, I do just want to say um, a reminder that light does travel the fastest, through a vacuum, okay, like outer space. So even though that was not on our data table, um, that is the case. So light will always travel fastest through a vacuum. It just was not on this data table for us to have an answer. So for this one, in which medium does light travel the fastest? Well, on this data table, it's air, a, a gas, right? But the true answer off of this data table would be a vacuum or outer space. So just to clarify, um, when you're given a table, you need to pull your data and your answers from that table. When you're not given a table, you need to think back to your prior knowledge and what you've learned. All right, you guys, ask me any questions you need to about 90. Thanks, bye.